Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel at the Anchor Desk with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops Tonight, we'll reveal the best of the little guys in our mid-major top ten list, as well as take a look at all the exciting games of the week. But let's start off with who we selected for our NCAA Player of the Week. McKinney had as good a week as we have seen from a small forward all season. He was nearly unstoppable in all facets of the game. Now let's unveil our list of the top 10 mid-major teams in college hoops. These teams could probably hold their own in any of the power conferences if they had the chance. Top to bottom, they're certainly not as strong as the list of the top 10 major conference teams, but one or two of them have just as much talent as any of those teams, especially the team in the top spot. Southern Illinois has a schedule that rivals that of any of the top power teams. The strength of their opponents has been just outstanding, and that's going to be a huge factor in their ability to survive in March in playing one of the most difficult schedules in the nation, they've gotten a lot tougher along the way. There was no shortage of excitement on the court in the past few days, so let's take a look at our games of the week. We were treated to a matchup between two teams in the top 25. Arizona got the better of Kansas. It was a real treat to see these teams both come to play in what turned out to be a fantastic game. They showed us why they deserved their spots in the top 25. This was an entertaining and fun game to watch. Emmett was the hero of this one with a terrific performance. His 15 points led the team. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. We don't get to see two top five teams on the court together very often, but that's just what our next game gave us. North Carolina defeated Louisville. The North Carolina Tar Heels look like they're legit. This was one of the toughest teams in the country they were up against and they breezed right through them. North Carolina can probably take something away from this win and build on it over the next few games. You can see by the highlights that they were really firing on all cylinders. Coach had a big smile on his face after this one, and I'm sure he's hoping this is the start of something special, too. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops action to come.